First we're going to select a background color. If you click the background tile, you can make any color background you like. I am, for right now, going to stick to a white background. File, New, Blank File. This will be the background for my uh, fruit veggie person, which I'll go ahead and title right now, Fruit Veggie. And I think I'll put my name in it at this point as well. Measurements, 8.5 inches, 11 inches, 72 pixels per square inch because we're dealing with small web pictures. Background contents is white. I'm going to say OK. And now I've got my background. File. I'm going to make sure that I've saved it. I'm at my home computer right now, so I'm saving my things differently than we do in our classroom. But you'll know that you want to save it in your Photoshop Elements folder. And I think I'm going to make a new folder right now. And I'm going to change the format to Photoshop, start working with layers, and save. Now it's time to open up our uh, Fruits and Vegetables folder to start creating our veggie person. So File and open. I went straight out to the folder, but it's in the Pics for Photoshop folder, and it's called Fruits and Veggies, and you can decide which item you think might look good for a head. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this tomato because it looks good. Double click it. I won't be able to use the magic wand here because the background is very mixed. So I'm going to use my magnetic lasso tool, and I'm going to begin at um, a section of the tomato and work my way around. Remember that if you want to adjust a section after you've gone around the perimeter of your object, you can select the selection brush tool, which lives just below the magic wand, and simply push out if you need to move your marching ants out, and if you need to move them in, hold your option key and push in. Once you're satisfied with your cut, remember that you need to move to the Move tool and select that item. Tile your windows, the four little squares, and again, making sure you're on your Move tool, move your first item up to your page. And I'm going to close this because I don't need it any longer and I'm not going to save it. At this point, I'm going to make my little head smaller and I'm going to push it in. I hold the shift key down while I adjust sizes as that helps to keep it in the right proportion. Depending on what kind of little person you're making, remember that you can adjust the angle of the item if you like. And I'm going to put a check mark. I've got my little head. I've got another layer as well here and now it's time to save. File Save as Fruit Veggie PSD Photoshop document. Make sure that it's in the right folder, which it should be from the first time that you saved, and then save. You can replace your former version, and now you're ready to move on, file, and open. Go back to your Fruit and Veggie people. and find another item perhaps for the body. Maybe I would like to have this banana item for the body. And I can see that I've got all a similar background here. So I can this time choose the magic wand. I'm going to select it and click in the area outside my object. And I'm going to say OK to that. It looks like I have my background and not just the, not the banana. So select inverse in this case, move tool, tile, and now I'm going to move my object up. I can get rid of it from here and I don't need to save this item again. And now I've got a banana body. I'm going to tuck that underneath and that looks okay to me if I want it to face the other direction. Remember, you can move it around. I'm going to commit to that change. File, 
And now I can just continue saving. I don't need to save as every time. I know that I'm in the right spot. I'm in the right file. If you ever aren't sure, you can always check. And yes, this is my veggie person and save. Replace my former version. And now I'm ready to move on and continue selecting fruits and vegetables until I'm happy with my little veggie person. You'll want to continue adding items until your veggie person is done. This one is not complete, but when you are ready and when your fruit or veggie person is complete, here is how you save. File, save as, in the correct folder, wherever your teacher tells you to, to save the final version, you can always save your own in your folder as well. Instead of Photoshop, we want to save it as a JPEG compress our layers and save. And you'll notice that the layers compress to flatten the image and this slider bar should be at the maximum level and OK. Once you click this, you have saved it in the designated folder as a JPEG. Now it's time to put my little fruit veggie person on a different background. I thought it would look good on a beachy cabana type background. So I found this on the internet and I'm going to go to my veggie fruit person and select using the magic wand since the background is all one color. And clicking in the solid color area, I hold my shift key down and select the areas that I did not get during the first round of using the magic wand. Move tool, select, inverse so that I have my fruit veggie person instead of the background, tile my windows, grab my little person and drag up to the new background. I don't need to keep this any longer and now I simply hold my shift key down to keep it in the right proportion and move my little fruit veggie person. I might want to make them a little bit bigger since it's sort of the star of the show. At this time be sure that you save, file, save as, notice it saves it as a Photoshop document, making sure that you're saving in the same folder. In order to title your piece, you'll want to use the text tool. Here I have a title for my little creation and you always want to say uh, who made it. So I'm going to use my text tool again and draw my text box, which I can move anywhere after I've typed. Remember that you can choose from lots of different fonts and colors as well. Place it where you like. And if you did want to warp your text, remember that you simply have to select your text and be on the text tool and go to the warp option. Once you're done, file and save as. If you want to work on it again, or if you haven't finished the, period, the class period, then it's a PSD, replacing your last version. Once you are completely done, save as. Be sure to save it in the designated folder that your teacher has instructed you to save it in. For right now, I'm at my home computer and I'm gonna be saving it on my desktop for the moment. JPEG, compress your layers, save. Highest quality, okay, and you're done. If I close Photoshop and I were to go into the location where I had saved it, in your case it would be in your folder. In mine, I saved it on the desktop. It no longer opens up in Photoshop because you saved it as a JPEG and now your creation is complete.